Mr. Ali Bala will come on the stage and will uh, provide a speech for you. By search, what is Ali Bala? The firm is for search. I know we are going to search for the firm. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, dear teachers and students, I would like to welcome you all on behalf of the organization committee for the second Future Inventors Project Olympiad. I know that it's a very long day for you. You're all tired and very excited to hear the results. But before that, I would like to give you some brief information about the mentality of this organization and our aim as a Fezalar educational institutions. Future Inventors Project Olympiad is a unique event in Kurdistan because there is no other project Olympiad such as FPO, so that it's very important for our institution. In this organization, we aim to give our students, I mean, whole students in Kurdistan, secondary and high school students, a scientific perspective that they know, they learn how to research on certain issues. With the help of this organization, students learn about scientific research steps and how to reach a solution for any kind of problem to help the mankind. They also have the chance to see the other students projects so that they can improve, so that they can develop their point of view, their perspectives in science. On the other hand, when the jury members are evaluating students' projects, they ask questions so that students will improve their critical thinking skills because they'll see the missing sides of their thoughts, their projects. This year, we chose the motto of Think Big for our project competition. As you know, the main motive, the basic motive under all kinds of development is thinking big. If you do not think big, you cannot improve anything, actually. When we look around for the ordinary things around us, you know, I have a question, are they really ordinary or should we change our perspective? Think about an insect, for example. You know, the insects in hot summer days, they always disturb us. And most of the time, when we see an insect, the only thing that, we, that comes to our mind is killing them. But actually, there are some perfect things in insects. In some kinds of insects, a wings of the insects can flip 1,000 times to 2,000 times in a second, which is incredible. On the other hand, an eye of an insect can capture 8,000 images in one second and combine it immediately. This leads the scientific research and scientists find out a camera which can capture 8,000 images in one second. That's something very interesting. I can give you another example. For example, an elephant, a huge animal which might weigh up to seven tons, can see a tiny piece of grass on the land and can lift it up by using its trunk, which is incredible. 
Another example, a turtle, for example, can live up to 900 years, some of them, or some of them lives up to 200 years, or a crook can live up to 90 years. Maybe this might be a good area of research for medical school students. To finish my speech, I would like to tell you a very small story, very short story about fishermen in Norway. The fishermen in Norway hunt salmons. You know, in north of the world, fishermen can catch a lot of salmons when they go fishing. To preserve this fish and to sell it to the countries in the south, they have to pass through the ocean in one day. To preserve the fish, they have to put all these fish in special depots under the ship. Actually, actually, if they pass through the ocean more than one day, the, sh the, the fish over there will spoil and they cannot sell it to other countries and they won't make money so that. So they have to find a solution. They put the fish in special depots under the ship and they put a special cage for another type of fish which, which is catfish. So, when they are passing through the ocean, they are releasing the catfish and these catfish are running after the salmons so that they do not die in one day. So, my message is that there are two types of people all around the world. The one is who produce projects, who has projects in their mind, and the other one is ordinary people who doesn't pay attention what's going on around them. So, please, 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 don't be Solomons, be catfish. Thank you very much for listening to me. I hope you have a very successful scientific life for all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>